Hello there guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea. Former preview of the Chelsea vs Swansea game taking place tomorrow evening at Stamford Bridge. Before starting the video, there is some very, very sad and bad news to talk about. Asterma Drummy, the former Chelsea youth coach, passed away at only 56 years of age, I think last night. All of us at the channel and in the Chelsea community are deeply saddened by these terrible news basically and um we just want to send our condolences out to his family and loved ones but getting into the preview and talking about our opposition Swansea and they're not doing well they're really not they're in 19th just one point ahead of Crystal Palace who don't forget lost all of their first seven games Swansea have only won two games all season and drawn three their last win came on October 14th when they beat Huddersfield on the weekend last weekend they had a nil nil draw against Bournemouth and they've scored the least amount of goals of all the teams in the Premier League with only 7 goals from 13 games. What makes things even more difficult for them, looking at tomorrow's game, is that their top scorer is Chelsea Loney Tammy Abraham with 4 goals. So 4 of their 7 goals were scored by Tammy Abraham. And he obviously can't play tomorrow. But to be fair to them, they've only conceded 15 goals, which is less than both Arsenal and Liverpool, and only 4 more than we have conceded. Now talking about how they usually line up and how they usually play, well against Bournemouth last weekend they played some sort of 4-4-2 diamond, but they usually start with the standard 4-3-3. Whether they will change to suit our three at the back formation or because Tammy Abram isn't playing, we'll have to wait and see, obviously. Now coming to Antonio Conte's press conference, and firstly, he gave his condolences to Dermot Drummy's family as well. And like I said, you know, I said it at the beginning, terrible, terrible news. Conte then said during this busy period of fixtures, it will be important to rotate to keep the players' concentration high and to keep them physically fresh too. Then he gave us some team news, thankfully, and he said David Luiz and Charlie Musanda are both out with knee problems and he doesn't yet know how long David Luiz will be out for. The doctor is still yet to properly assess David Luiz, but Shuai and Kennedy are almost fit but not at 100% yet, so they won't be in the squad tomorrow. He said Moses is in contention to start the game tomorrow. Then he was asked about Timu Bakayoko, who we all know wasn't exactly good against Liverpool. And to be honest, in my review, I wasn't harsh enough on him, to be honest, because while watching the game, I didn't notice so much that he really was very poor. Only after watching some highlights back and, you know, stuff like that, I only really properly noticed. And Conte said he is a young player. Only 22 years old. For many reasons, he's played a lot of games, obviously because of injuries mainly when Kante was injured. And for sure, he needs to improve on the tactical aspect and get into our idea of football. But it's normal to alternate good performances with performances not so good at his age. But Conte said he's very happy with his commitment. But for sure, he has a lot of room for improvement. Then he was asked about how he keeps players like William happy who haven't really played played that much and Conte said his players must be happy to be at Chelsea and to play for our fans if they start the game or if they come off the bench but he says he has clever players who understand and accept the situation because firstly he replied that why are you asking me about William why not asking me about Pedro who isn't starting that many games why are you asking me about Hazard who when he was back from injury wasn't starting every game and he's completely right you know if you play for Chelsea if you sign a contract at Chelsea you must be happy to be at Chelsea yes of course you want to play but if you're not playing you have to accept that you're not playing and, you know, try your hardest in training or when you get your chance to prove to the manager that you should be playing more. Then he was asked whether he has to rest players like Eden Hazard now in the busy period at some point. And Conte said sometimes you have to protect players and rest them. But that's not always possible because sometimes you have to take a risk during a busy period of important and difficult games. Because at the same time as protecting your players and looking at the longer term results, you still have to look at the difficult games right now and still have to get results in those games so sometimes you have to risk players sometimes you have to protect players but that was it from the press conference now coming to Chelsea and talking about how I think we will line up how I think the game will go and also my score prediction and right now we could really do with Mishibach White I'm not gonna lie because you know obviously he's still out injured he's soon to be back I hope he can be back next week maybe on the weekend but I think Hazard needs to rest to be able to keep his incredible performances going, which he has been showing over the last few weeks. In the second half against Liverpool, in my opinion, he looked completely knackered. Like, he looked absolutely knackered, I thought, especially in the latter stages of that second half. Hazard obviously started and played 65 minutes in Carabag as well. So if we do play a 3-5-2 again tomorrow, I'd even play William and Pedro as the two strikers up front and rest Morata as well. But I'm not sure whether Conte will go without both Hazard and Morata. If I'm honest, I'd also like to rest Kante because I really don't want to risk him picking up another injury. You will know how badly that went for us when he was injured, obviously, a few weeks ago. So I'd maybe try three-man midfield of Danny Drinkwater, Timur Bakayoko and Cesc Fabregas. To be honest, Bakayoko could probably do with the rest as well. But it's way more important for us that Kante is at 100% than Timur Bakayoko. And I'm not sure whether we should and will go with a 3-4-3 and play Drinkwater and Fabregas as the two centre midfielders. I'm not sure whether that's the greatest idea to do, to be honest. Now, as I said, Victor 
Victor Moses is thankfully in contention to start the game, and I would like to rest Alonso. So I play Zabacosta as the left wing back, where I know he hasn't played for us at all, and neither has he played there all too much during his whole career, but he can play there if needed, and I think Alonso desperately needs a rest. Maybe we'll see Aspilicueta starting as the left wing back, although I think I read somewhere that Aspi started the last 74 games in a row for us, so playing him at wing back, where he has to run more than a centre back, wouldn't be the greatest idea in my opinion. So like I said, I'd play Zappacosta at left wing back and Victor Moses the right wing back. To be honest, I'd even give Aspilicueta a full rest. Play Rudiger at right centre back, Kalis the left side of centre and Christensen as the central centre back with obviously David Luiz being injured. But let's be honest, Conte will not start without Aspilicueta. Like if he hasn't for the last 74 games, why would he do tomorrow? I just highly doubt it. So today I'll give you two different lineups: the one I'd go with and the one I think Antonio Conte will go with, even though I think it's almost impossible to predict Conte's, but I might as well give it a shot. So mine you can see on the screen now is the 3-5-2, Thibaut Courtois in goal, Antonio Rüdiger, Andreas Christensen and Gary Kalis, the three centre-backs, Victor Moses as the right wing-back and Zappa Costa as the left wing-back. Like I said, then he drink water by Kayoko and says Fabregas as the three central midfielders and then William and Pedro basically as the two strikers, even though neither of them is a real striker. Maybe we can bring on Morata later on in the game if desperately needed, but preferably I'd like to rest both Hazard and Morata. Now coming to the lineup, I think Conte might go with, maybe he'll go with a 3-4-3, I don't know, I have a feeling he could do. Because, you know, if he wants to rest the players that I think he wants to rest badly, that looks to be a logical way, to be honest. So I think he might go for Thibaut Courtois on a goal. The same back three as me, Rüdiger Christensen and Gary Cahill. Then Aspilicueta as the left-sided wing-back. Victor Moses the right-sided wing-back. Then N'Golo Kante playing, unlike in my lineup where he'd be rested. Next to says Fabregas. And then Pedro and William on the wing and Murata playing as the striker. Obviously, in a 3-4-3, the wing-back has to do a little bit less running than in a 3-5-2, I suppose, because the wing-back still has some one in front of him to do some of the attacking work so in that formation playing Aspilicueta as the left wing wouldn't be as bad I suppose but yeah that's what I could see Antonio Conte going with but like I said almost impossible to predict and I'm 99% sure that I'm completely wrong with what I think Conte will go with but yeah you know I told you what I would go with I told you what I think Antonio Conte will go with and I mean we just have to win that game we're at home we're up against the worst attack in the league without their only decent attacking player so far this season. Like I said, they haven't conceded anywhere near as many goals as you'd expect from the teams that in 19th. So I predict and I expect us to win and be dominant. But I don't think we'll hammer them. Especially not if we rotate like I'd hope we do. So my score prediction is a solid but kind of boring 2-0 home win. But yeah, that's really it for me. Leave me all of your thoughts down in the comments section below. Your thoughts on anything Antonio Conte mentioned in this press conference, your predicted lineups and your score prediction. And obviously any other thoughts you have, leave it down in the comments section below as well. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, Laps1507 on both Instagram and Twitter, as you can see over here. I'd massively appreciate it if you could follow me there. You know, just check me out. I'm very active, especially on Twitter and also in the Insta story thing. So, you know, if you could follow me there, I'd love that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to 100% Chelsea. You can just click that button up there and you can subscribe. We are grateful for any new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. Up the Chelsea. And I'll see you next time.